We're going to show a couple of nice examples of internuclear ophthalmoplegias. This patient had subacute bacterial endocarditis with a bacterial abscess in the brainstem. Ductions and gaze are fairly full looking to the right, but look at this. When looking to the left, his right eye does not adduct well, and you can see these jerk abducting the stagmus of the left eye. So he has a right internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Again, the components are medial duction abnormalities of the ipsilateral eye and abducting the stagmus of the contralateral eye. Now these are really brought out with saccades. This is a nice technique to bring out an I and O. Ask the patient to saccade quickly to the right, as he's done here, normal to the left. Now look at the lag of the medial duction of that right eye. Here, see how it just sort of slowly drifts across. That's a nice way to bring out a subtle I and O. I think it shows up fairly nicely. Look at the left eye, you can see the abducting the stagmus and that medial duction of the right eye just slowly drifts across. You can also do this with an optokinetic drum or strip by moving the target opposite in the direction of the suspected gaze. Now here's another example. Fairly normal when looking to the left. Now look at that left eye medial duct slowly compared to the right eye. And again, I think you can see the prominent abducting nystagmus of the right eye. This patient has multiple sclerosis. See here, if you were to just look at ductions, you'd think everything was fairly good. You need to bring saccades into action to bring out those subtle internuclear ophthalmoplegias. It's a very nice technique.